Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to show you how to create a landing page for your business. So if you're just starting out or you already have something established and you need a landing page, I'm going to show you how to get it done. It's actually very, very easy. You can do it in about five minutes time and we're going to dive into that in just a moment. But before we start that, there's a lot of people out there that are looking to find the niche for their landing page. So if you're in that camp, I think this video is going to be for you because I'm going to show you how to find a niche and then we're going to build the landing page for that niche. So if that sounds good to you, smash the like button, hit subscribe, and let's dive in. So I was brushing my teeth and thinking about today's video and trying to figure out what I might talk about in terms of a niche that we can start with something that's very simple and something that everybody knows. And I realized while I was brushing my teeth that I'm using Crest. So let's look at them and see what it is about their company that earns so much traffic and money for them just via the website alone. So what I did was I popped Crest.com into my keyword tool, which is called Ahrefs. And I can see right here on my little dashboard all the main stats about the site that I care about. And the organic search is showing me that we rank for 113, or rather Crest ranks for 113,000 keywords related to dental things. Toothpaste, whitening strips, you name it, that's what they rank for. They have about 375,000 people a month going to their website and earning them a ton of money. So I wanted to see, let's take a look at their keywords here. And I just want to show you how this works. So we have Crest White Strips, which earns them the most traffic for their site, because right now we're sorted by traffic numbers. So they earn 10,000 people a month going to their site. There's 42,000 people searching this term a month on Google, and it has a keyword density of 18. So keyword density is 0 to 100, 100 being the most difficult to rank for on Google, and 0 being the easiest to rank on Google. So we're at an 18. This is a, I'd say, a low to medium difficulty number. So we have Crest White Strips, and it shows that they're in position number one for it on crest.com. So just to show you what I'm talking about, if we were to search Crest White Strips, we're gonna see some ads here, sponsored, sponsored, sponsored. But number one is in fact Crest and their white strips. And that correlates directly with this. So just to show you, that's how this basically works. Um, so we're going to find a niche. We're going to set the keyword density down to zero because we want something very easy to do. And then we're also going to search it by volume or sort it by volume because we want something that is high volume, low competition. And since we're going to be creating a landing page, the assumption is the landing page is going to be either we're trying to sell a product or we're trying to sell a mailing list or something of that nature. So let's go into it imagining that we're going to do some sort of mailing list and you're going to show uh, people how to opt in on something and then the, the plan would be to create some sort of email marketing campaign that goes beyond that after you capture and um, we need a good topic for our landing page because floss for braces is not really a good topic for a landing page. So let's search for the word how because we want a question. And how to get rid of calcium deposits on teeth. Okay, let's just pick this for argument's sake, how to get rid of calcium deposits on teeth. Let's say that we feel that this is going to be a good take on a business because we have 300 people searching this a month, zero competition, and these are people that are looking for some kind of tooth treatment. 
which is either whitening, cleaning, they might need probiotics or vitamins. Um, these are people that are in need of something. So let's pick this as our word. And I want to show you over here on Offer Vault, which is basically an affiliate program search engine. Um, and we're going to type in dead bill. I just want to show you that if you were to make a sale with one of these products, you could be earning $100, $80, $25. Um, it depends what you're signing up for and what the angle is that you're trying to sell. But, um, you know, aside from creating a landing page and a mail opt-in, you could also put something like one of these offers on the page because somebody might just want to go and spend the money and get a probiotic for $82. Um, so let's jump over to GetResponse, which is an email marketing platform. It is a web builder, landing page builder. It can manage all of your emails and acts as an auto email system. Um, it does all kinds of neat stuff. So we'll go over here. You could sign up down below. Uh, we're going to go into the dashboard, landing pages. We're going to create a new landing page, create landing page. Let's do a ready-made template. And what's nice about these templates is that they're all more or less proven to be high converting. So, you know, of course you can change these however you want and customize it out. But theoretically, if you more or less leave the buttons where they're at and you kind of just fill in the blanks, you can, you can guesstimate that you'll be able to get something pretty decent out of this. So I see here we got a dental one right here. And let's say, so our keyword is how to get rid of calcium deposits on teeth. How to get rid of calcium deposits on teeth. The call to action is going to be an opt-in. or rather download your guide here. It would help if this was spelled correctly. And you can have this go out to an external website, you can have it go to a phone number, you can have it go to um, a document, whatever it is that you want. You can even have it go to an email address. You could just have it email everything to, you know, test at gmail.com. Um, we have images. You can actually replace this with all kinds of stock images that you might want to use. Show you guys what else we got. GIFs. You could create your own stuff. It's actually very interesting. Um, not a big fan of that. Uh, introduce your idea. Um, get rid of calcium deposits fast. A lot of people with calcium deposits get them after years of neglect while wearing braces one of the top methods of removing calcium is your offer and your offer being one of these offers here you know let's say that removing calcium from teeth Uh, they say baking soda, brushing your teeth, blah, blah, blah. So let's see if there's something better here. Let 
Let's say that we want to whiten teeth. Cleaner smile. Here we go. Teeth whitening kit. Top methods of removing calcium is through whitening. Now, obviously, you want to be honest and want to do good research. I am not researching it because I'm just kind of creating this on the fly. So you want to actually verify that this is correct. You don't want to mislead people. Um, but my, what I'm trying to show is that you could actually make $100 of sale right here on your landing page. You can do your giveaway guide right here. Um, and it's, yeah, this is, this is how you make a landing page. It's actually very simple. Um, you can also do, uh, whitening, whitening your teeth easy. It's easy. And then you can write some more stuff about it. Bop, bop, bop. Add your title. Here's your opt-in name, email, phone, contact form. And there you go. Um, so for creating a landing page, this is very simple. I just want to show you that you can actually move things around however you see fit. Um, so you can actually drag it up and put it here at the top. You can move this around down here. You can change the button. You can make it an outline button. All kinds of cool stuff that you can do here and you can just keep playing with it till you're blue in the face. And then once you're happy with your page, you would hit continue. And you could wrap things up. You could just kind of pick what the contact list is that you want people to subscribe to, you could send an opt-in confirmation email, add them to the autoresponder cycle if you want, favicons, all kinds of cool stuff, analytics and whatnot. And then you just assign a page name and the domain that you want it to go to. Um, these are some freebie, these are really like test domains. I wouldn't use these because we want it to rank in Google. Um, so you're going to want to either buy a domain name or connect your own domain name. And if you're going to do, if you need a domain name, I wouldn't necessarily do it through this. Um, I would just go and sign up for something like Bluehost uh, because with their plan, you actually get web hosting with it and it's like six bucks a month. It's super cheap. So that's the route that I would go. But that is how you make a landing page. And I hope that you guys found this to be interesting. I really hope that you caught on to the whole thing about finding the right keyword for your niche because a landing page isn't going to do much without knowing what your offer is going to be and what your niche is and having that keyword so that you can actually rank in Google. Because if you were to build a website that was literally about how to get rid of calcium deposits on your teeth, you can actually do very well for very little competition and you can actually sell some really awesome, awesome stuff with that. So if you like this video and you found it helpful, please let me know in the comments down below. I know I went pretty fast. I know I jump around a bit, but if you can give me some feedback and let me know if I'm doing a good job or not. And I'll catch you guys on the next one very soon.